Today we're going to look at the Soviet DP-63A. Uh, it was a high range survey meter that was in production from the early 1960s right through until the mid 1970s. Now the unit comes in this lovely little leather carry case. Comes with a very, very detailed instruction manual in Russian and there's lots of wiring diagrams and such like in there. Now I have stuck this through Google Translate and I'm pretty sure this is how the unit operates. So it does two fixed measurements. We have 1.5 Ronkin and we have 50 Ronkin. So the top part of the scale goes to 1.5 and the bottom part of the scale goes to 50. And you would do that by pressing and holding the button of each part of the scale. And you can do a battery self test by holding your finger on both buttons simultaneously. Now it runs on two 1.5 volt batteries and they are the same batteries that the DP5, DP5B, DP5A etc takes. Uh, I made up a couple of little adapters and just using normal AA batteries I was able to get the unit to work. Uh, now what's interesting about this meter is there are two sources of radiation inside it. There is an alternal uh, strontium-90 check source and there is a biblical <laughs> biblical bit of radium paint in this uh, the display the entire display the back sort of back part of the display of the glass display is a little piece of plastic and it is just coated with radium paint and they have slapped it on I have seen people uh, measuring this on other YouTube videos and they're getting 10 millisievert you know I mean that is just ridiculous and to be able to find a source of radiation that high in a product which you can easily buy on eBay uh, you know it's just ridiculous so uh, when I saw these come up for sale uh, I had to get one and I bought two I bought this one first just to make sure that it did have this display and I've since bought another one so uh, when that comes I will have two sources I should have at least two Ronkin sources, so I should be able to set this meter off uh, with the two Ronkin, fingers crossed anyway, we'll see. But what I'm gonna do now is, I am gonna get the screwdrivers out, I'm gonna completely disassemble this unit, and I'm gonna take out the display, and I'm gonna take out the internal check source, and, uh, and measure them with, uh, with a couple of my Geiger counters. So quick jump cut, we'll get the screwdrivers out. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm just checking very, very briefly for uh, any contamination. Now, obviously, you can see the display itself there is, uh, is pretty high, um, but it's, it's secured behind quite a thick piece of glass there. So it's, it's reasonably safe at the moment. Uh, so to split the unit in two to get into the internals, uh, you need to remove the, these two screws. Now, they're underneath some wax. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Take a, a flat bladed screwdriver, small flat bladed screwdriver, and you can scratch off uh, the uh, the wax, and uh, you can get to the two screws. Now I've sped, I've sped up the footage a wee bit here because obviously you don't need to see uh, real time wax removal. Um, but yeah, the wax is reasonably soft. Doesn't need to be heated up or anything. You can just it, it pretty comes off comes off in a couple of little clumps, and uh, it's. Uh, it's easily removed and cleaned up. So the unit is uh, is pretty clean afterwards, doesn't leave, really leave any residue. And the screws are pretty loose. Um, it uh, it doesn't take much force to uh, to open them. And again, if you're gonna be buying one of these, uh, do check that the uh, wax is in place uh, so that the unit has not been tampered with before. So unit comes apart really, really easily. There's a rubber seal around uh, around the top and you just need to uh, just free that up sometimes just to go with it. So I'm just checking for uh, some contamination now. You can see there's a bit of contamination in the bottom of the case where the strontium-90 uh, check source was and that could be a little bit of radium paint dust as well down there so I have to be pretty careful um, and with that. But now I've got the main unit itself, um, I'm just going to take a quick look around it and uh, just see where screws are, just get my bearings, just make sure I know where everything is. So what I need to do first of all is I'm going to remove the strontium-90 check source, uh, the little uh, ingot here, the little encapsulated uh, strontium-90 source. So it's just held in, flat-headed screw, 
very very easy to undo and uh, just to make my life a little bit easier I uh, use a, a pair of tweezers just to pull it out and you know that's a really handy check source to have for other Geiger counters and there's a little ingot and I'll do a quick a quick check on that with the thermometer just to show you so as you can see that's a a lovely little unit there, a lovely little check source to have. So I've got quite a few of those now, I think I've got two or three of the little ingots now. So as I said before, there's two screws holding the uh, the main printed circuit board and the uh, Geiger Muller tubes on. Uh, there's one just beside the battery compartment and that's the uh, that's the bit we're trying to get to right in there with the uh, radium dial. So there's two screws, one just beside the uh, battery compartment and uh, another one. Uh, at the opposite side. Okay, so we'll do undo the first screw. Again, the footage is sped up. And using the tweezers again, just to make it all a lot easier, so we don't lose anything. Okay, you need a ratchet or a, a, a small wrench to uh, take off this next one. And once this one's undone, the uh, basically the printed circuit board and the uh, the power supply module, or the high voltage power supply, just tilts to one side, and that gives you just enough room to uh, get to uh, two nuts which are holding on a little metal frame, which is uh, keeping the radium dial in place. So with a pair of uh, small uh, grips and this little screwdriver, I was able to just get the nuts one side off completely and then one side just off enough that the little bracket would lift up and swing around. And then very carefully with a pair of tweezers and uh, my little screwdriver, I am able to, uh, to lift the, uh, the dial out. And there it is in all its glory. So I'll very, very quickly check it with the thermometer and there you go, off the scale straight away. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I've uh, I've got the display inside this uh, tube here at the moment. Um, and I just want to show you what the gamma is. So there it is. So I'll show you the, uh, the gamma. So that's, this only measures gamma and uh, it only measures quite high range gamma. So as you can see, it's pretty strong. And uh, if I put it here and I bring in good old trusty therapy. So you can see how far away that is. And it's already setting off the alarm. So what I'll do is I'll put it right up so you can see there that we are on uh, nearly 10 millisievert uh, yeah this is uh, this is you know I, I, it's one of the, it's the first item I think I've ever had that I actually don't feel safe around uh, you know it's I want to keep it in this I'll show you how I'm going to keep it for the time being. It's uh, it's going to be in here, and then it is going to be in here as well. And then I have a little box, lead line box, and it's going to be kept in that as well until my uh, uh, lead castle comes, and that'll be in there. So uh, it's going to stay in there. But yeah. Uh, this is a, it's a really, really nice little meter. I've got it all back together now. And what I did was I, I cut out a little bit of paper to fill in the blank uh, where I removed the display. But if one of these comes up for sale and you feel comfortable, yeah, definitely get one. Uh, you know, I mean, you will never, you know, legally you will never have a, a you know, a, a, ch a source of radiation that high. Uh, and uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back in the next video with a review. 
uh, of the uh, Radi Radioscan uh, 701A and I will put that to the test with the uh, with the radium dial uh, to see what it comes up with uh, but until then as always thank you very very much for watching um, if you want to talk about it talk about it in the comments I'll more, be more than happy to uh, talk to you about it and uh, please like and subscribe tell your friends and I'll see you next time bye bye